beautiful because you really have beautified the West Cliff. I want you to up uh, the East Cliff, sorry, Freudian slip. Yeah, <laughs> West Cliff. And we'll do the West Cliff as well when we do the Project Motor House development. But in the interim, while Thanet District Council are making up their mind about how they're going to dispose of the site, no, no, no pressure, um, uh, we will continue yeah, yeah, yeah. work. So this has been um, a project that uh, is it's designed to, to show people in Ramsgate what our young people are capable of. And uh, we want to say a big thank you to the Royal Harbour Academy students. To Guy Bourne, who has just been so fabulous. And to Simon Paul. But I'm going to ask Brenda Lepin, who is one of our trustees, to come up here and, and say a few words to you. I'm hot foot from London just for this because I think it's such mm. an exciting project to be supporting. I think the students are absolutely marvellous to be doing this. Now, um, Janet's already covered a lot of things, but I have jotted down some notes. Um, for those of you that don't know, the SEAS project is the Southeast Academy of Seaside Photographs. It's housed at the Christchurch University in Canterbury. And even though, as the, You've probably seen uh, the hoardings around there. Some of these students have never even held a camera before this project. So I think it's incredible that they've turned this out. Yeah. And to have a pop-up um, uh, exhibition at the Turner Contemporary. I mean, that takes some beating. Oh. Now, <laughs> And it's, it's absolutely amazing what a little bit of time and encouragement can do for the young people of Thanet. And I think we have to give a huge um, uh, thank you to the generosity of the top drawer professional creative people who gave their time freely and willingly to help towards this and it's very very much appreciated and I'm just going to read some names um, uh, Joe Mapp who 